Shane. What she's really saying is she's weak. No! How's it going, everybody? So today you'll be reacting to me, reacting to the Ramsey Show, reacting to a TikToker. Now the TLDR of this video is essentially, this is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college and I'm in person and I'm commuting in the city and it takes me forever. Just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy. As a lot of us know, when you graduate college, you get your first job, your free time just starts to disappear. But on top of that, maybe you get 10 days off a year now for the next 40 years, unless you get a job with unlimited PTO, right? in big quotations, but instead of empathizing and at least relating, she's weak. Just look at the comments on this video before I play it. I think they made a mistake asking Ken. He had no empathy. Ken got that cake job with Ramsey and got out of touch real quick. I didn't know Ken would be this out of touch. I'll let you read that part. It was difficult for me, so now it needs to be difficult for you too. Maybe it's just me here, but Gen Z, Gen Alpha, they're gonna be your future customers, especially with the cost of tuition. So mocking them on shows like this because they're struggling, that's not gonna go over well. We're talking about a video that we saw recently, which we'll, we will show you guys here in a second, but the perfect person to talk about this was walking by, Ken Coleman. Yeah, I got the bat signal. This is not, that's not my Batman, okay? It's very said, exciting. Ken, come in here yeah. and join us for this segment because there was a video that was published. It was a TikTok video of a young girl, yeah. and she was struggling with the reality of what working full-time meant. I just feel the need to pause and clarify that this isn't necessarily the reality of what working full-time means for everyone, but this just goes to show they further reinforce the idea that nine to five is just something everybody's gotta do, you know? We did it kind of like vibe, you know? This is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college. College and I'm commuting in the city and it takes me forever. There's no way I'm gonna be able to afford living in the city right now. So that's off the table. Like, so it literally takes me, like I leave here, like I get on the train at 7.30 and I don't get home till like 6.15 earliest. And then like, I don't have time to do anything. I want to shower eat my dinner and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to, they're like, I don't have energy to work out. Like that's out the window. Like I'm so upset. Oh my God. It's like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy. Being in the office nine to five, like if it was remote, you get off at five and you're home and everything's fine. But like, I'm not home. It takes me long to get home. And like, like people that drive to the office, like it doesn't, you don't get off at five. How do you have friends? Like, how do you have time to like meet like, so if you look at their reactions here, the person in the middle is just laughing. Ken throws his hands up, does a face palm, and the only person that seems to relate is the person on the left. It's kind of it's sad. No, she has no concept of time. I don't have time to work out, to see you boys. Why does he do this? Just mocking them. Wait though, <laughs> wait though, Ken, because I kind of, there were parts of me that kind of felt what she was saying a little bit. What part? I think this might be the first time on the show where they just openly disagree. And Ken's like, how so? And it's nice to see, honestly, someone speaking some sense, some logic, bringing this man up to speed, so to speak. Give this man some riz. Be careful, though. He might spell it with a J, you know? It's <laughs> because I've always worked from home. I've always run business from home, which means like you get the, you have the ability to tweak your schedule very easily. But when you, when you have a nine to five job, it's like, no, you're here from nine to five, that is your block. So it is a lot less freedom in that way. And when I took this job, it was my first nine to five. I, I felt this shell shock. I've always blocked my time in smaller chunks. You're very sweet. That you, what you're saying is not the same as what she said. So Ken does like this weird dismissive, you're very sweet, honey, but what you're saying isn't what she's saying. It's honestly, it's condescending to me. Like the, the fact that she's sitting there like smiling is nuts. But if I had to guess, I'd say this is why there are these two girls on the show now. and. You got the bat signal, Ken. We're chunks. You're very sweet. That you, what you're saying is not the same as what she's saying. It's not the same, she's but saying I kind of when got she gets it. home at 6:15, all she has time for is a shower she and can't even make maybe her own a quick but microwave what she, meal. She can't, really yeah. saying she can't is even she's boil shook. A noodle. She's, she's tired. shook by the, she's the schedule tired. change. What she's really saying is she's weak. No! No, this is a weak-minded young girl. <laughs> no, Ken Coleman! It's funny, they both yell no, stop, 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 and he just keeps talking over them. No, think she's about struggling. It. Ken, she okay, said, stop. I like my stop, job, stop. Okay. but if I lived in the city and I could walk there, I'd be fine. The whole meltdown was <laughs> about her time from 6.15 until bedtime. I'm telling you. And she didn't account for the four hours. Thus, this is a young girl who's very kind but if and you're sweet. Used so you can see that he's a real listener here in that he minimizes it into, oh, well, she just doesn't know what to do with four hours. She's used to having more. Hours. This is a meltdown on TikTok. It is a meltdown. But Over if you nothing. are used to more hours in your day that you can spend 
the way you okay, choose. Okay, but, but she it, it does feel like this is her first job, though. It's her, it's her first job. Per- yeah. She is reacting she's not, she's, to like, oh my gosh, I just this hit is, like this is the adulthood. World. This is adulthood. Yeah. No, not necessarily. Again, it doesn't have to be a nine to five. It doesn't have to be, well, this is just life now. You got to show up five days. It doesn't have to be that way. I do YouTube, live in a camper in the desert. Um, there are options. There are trade schools. I know that wasn't what you were expecting to hear, right? Seriously, it doesn't necessarily have to be this is adult life. Let me say this. I remember I remember waking up probably like four months into work after college. Okay. Coming here and thinking like, oh my gosh, like this is my this is my life. This is my life for the next 40 years or however long. Like every point up until then, there's a transition, right? Yeah. Elementary school to middle school to right. high school. There's something new and and you wake up in this like daunting adult brain where you think this is okay this is my life forever you too can be like me and say this is my life for the next 40 years and then put a smile on like what i remember getting home watching wheel of fortune at 6 30 and at seven o'clock i was tired no i wasn't on tiktok crying <laughs> like i knew like i have bills to pay like we have to work we're adults here so is that what this is really about the fact that she shared it on tiktok oh you shouldn't have done that because now everyone's gonna see that you're emotional and can't handle it. Uh, like, is that is that the real problem here? Most companies background check your social media by using data brokers and finding your information in videos and stuff anyways. And that's why I'm happy to introduce today's video sponsor, Aura. If you've never heard of Aura before, they're like the Swiss army knife of online safety software. There's something for everyone in there. For example, those data brokers that have all of your information from all of those great free platforms that we love to use, you can go in there and request they delete all your information. But besides that, they also have financial security like transaction monitoring. If you set a limit and there's a purchase made over that, you get an alert. You can also freeze your credit. So if someone tries to take out a loan in your name, you get an alert. Ask me how I know. I forgot I set both of those up. There's also social media monitoring. So if someone tries to impersonate you or clone your account or hack it, there's also parental control. So you can protect the little ones at home. In addition to that, there's a VPN. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere, like I am, and you have to connect to whatever internet you can find sometimes, it's good to be secure that way too. They have a password manager that has a vault that keeps all your passwords, but it has this cool feature if you get their Chrome extension that like automates making a new secure password and storing it for you. And it's pretty cool. On top of that, they offer a $1 million insurance protection due to damages from identity theft. Like I said, there's something in there for everyone and chances are the internet has your information so use my link down in the description you'll get 14 days free you can go in there and request those data brokers delete your information you're yeah. tired please I, tell me you're tired you get ti- you're 100%. tired 100 <laughs> percent last night my two teenage boys were out of the house with friends josie our, our youngest had a, a friend upstairs i was in the living room watching the football game and completely snoring in between like wake so i get it that's not what this video is about but i do this think- video is hold on a second you guys think i'm so mean you're, i'm not you're being, you're being <laughs> curmudgeon-y since when did having common sense make you a curmudgeon? Well, it then does. guilty as charged because this gal is freaking out over the amount of time she has between getting home from work and going to bed. But I know. she may be. That's also, what this is about. She yeah. is freaking out, but she also could be learning something about. Because I do think some people are more bent towards. I can go to a nine to five job. I can punch my clock. I can be there from whatever eight to four, nine to five, whatever, and it doesn't bother me. And I get used to it. Great, fine. And then other people are like, I need to work for myself. I need to be able to set my schedule. Then she should I need do to that. be able to. The way Ken responds is like he's been trying to say this the whole time. Well, then that's what she should do. You didn't. You never said maybe you should work for yourself. You just said she was weak. Let me say this. Not against this girl. If you had to and didn't have a choice. You gotta work. Yeah, you wouldn't necessarily probably be melting down. You, you, there's a gum, like you, you would have to find that inner strength. <laughs> yeah, I can just go ahead and tell you that's not true. Been there, done that, and still felt like the person on this TikTok. Mental health is a real thing and it happens to a lot of people. You should look into it, not just be like, you should find, you know, you'd have that gumption to just show up and love your crappy life every, like, why don't you just be real and just say it how it is? They're just gonna show up to work. Okay, so this is the part where, where Ken's like, hold on, I, I realized that maybe. I was too harsh that time. Let me let me take saying. another. I'd like to Here's take another, another angle. I'm ready for another angle. But let, me, let me take another tack. Okay? okay. All right. Let me just not be a curmudgeon for a second. Let me take the caring dad hat. Let me try the caring dad angle. Going to be a straight shooter for a second, and then proceeds to just do the same thing. I think most of America is probably agreeing with you. Of course, we're they playing are. devil's advocate. Which they, they almost always do. They almost always agree. Like, never let YouTube go to me like that. I will do my best, but please keep me in check. 
Okay, take the hearing, right. Dad. I understand, sweetheart. This is a real shock to your system. All the things that Sister Jade and Sister Rachel. Does that look like a caring dad? All the shock to your system. What is this? This is shooing. This is the motion of dismissing something away as you take the caring dadding. Like, Ken, come on, man. I understand, sweetheart. This is a real shock to your system. All the things that Sister Jade and Sister Rachel said. They love you, though you're older. Sister sisters. or sister? You would be sista <laughs> with a U-H or an A only. I can't believe they asked that question. I can't believe Ken answered that question. <laughs> and I, I'm just, I can't believe this, this, this is a real episode on the show. The U-H or an A only. I get it. Here's the point. If you're struggling like this, call your friend. Uh, listen to a Taylor Swift song. Stop. Uh, talk to mom and Stop dad. Kidding. Yeah, that's the caring dad angle. Like, these people are going to be your customers, or, like, I don't know if they will anymore. I got some <laughs> crazy thoughts in my head. I don't want anybody to know. I sure as <laughs> H-E double hockey stick, I'm not going on TikTok <laughs> going, I'm wildly insecure, and I'm anxious, Aww. and I'm melting down. Well, let me just tell you. So what I'm saying is, as the dad, can we yes. stop sharing our souls on TikTok? Now, that can is very good. Very we good. We all we deserve a chance to melt down. Yes. But for yes. God's sake, do it in private. With, your, with a friend. <laughs> with somebody safe. Get I, with Jesus. I yes. Do. Yep. Somewhere private, somebody safe. If you want to have a meltdown, there's the terms and conditions. Thanks, Ken. I'm sure that will solve a lot of mental health problems. I don't I mean know. her any ill will at all. Because no. I'd actually go, oh, I want to give you a hug. I get it. Life is hard. This does suck. Yeah. Either move into the city yeah. later when you could afford yes. it, or let's get a job where we don't have to commute. Because commuting yeah, is a real stress. Suck. Yeah. I, I don't want to in, in any way minimize the commute. But, you know, look, you get home at 615, maybe you don't take a three-hour shower. Again, he says one thing and then another. I don't mean her any ill will. And then Makes a condescending remark. I'm taking a three hour shower. Like, are you just being difficult? Are you just being egotistical? Are you just playing hardball? I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> or maybe you work out at five. Maybe at eat five. on the train. Yeah. Maybe get up at 5 30, work out. I, I don't know. Lots There's of things a way we to can do it. Do. There's a way to do it. And I will say this. It's a cry After for help. After having multiple children sitting here, all of us. Yes. We probably can adjust more. Yeah. By That's the way, right. And she's kidding. It makes you. It yeah. makes you adjust. They yeah. don't know tired. No. Having multiple kids is tired to the bone. Can I get an amen? amen? Amen. There it is. Amen. Hallelujah. But anyways, if you enjoyed my take on things, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button if you'd like to see me call out more of this corporate nonsense. And click that like button. Maybe share it with someone, too. I know lots of people like to listen to The Ramsey Show. Oh, and thanks again to today's video sponsor, Aura, for sponsoring today's topic especially. So go support the people who support this channel and go get those data brokers to delete all your information off the web. Having said all that, I hope everyone's doing well, and I'll see you in the next one.